on the subject of the additional duties of the sannyasi. A sannyasi is someone who is in the fourth and final stage of his life and is leading a life complete of complete renunciation and is in meditation while doing good to the world. With his mind and soul centered on God, he should be indifferent to pain or pleasure, stay away from meat and intoxicants, and go about preaching of truth and, light, and enlightenment the world with the light of true divine knowledge. With his beard, nails, and mustache clipped, and wearing saffron-colored clothing, remain in a tranquil state while moving around and harming no living being. Note, the sannyasi's possessions alone do not constitute an effective discharge of his duty. His paramount duty is to elevate others by preaching true divine knowledge and wisdom. He, res he should restrain his senses from wicked pursuits, renounce all affection and hatred, and bear no malice to any living being, and develop his power to obtain salvation. The chief duty of a sannyasi is to improve the condition of mankind by preaching of the true gift of education. Oh, sorry, I meant the truth and the gift of education. A sannyasi should always practice pranayam with meditation on the highest name of God, Om, and the Vyaharatis. This is the utmost level of austerity by a sannyasi. A sannyasi through pranayam and combined Meditation burns away all impurities of the body, mind, and senses. Dhyan destroys all the ignorance and propensities of the senses to commit a sin. Pratyahar burns away all impurities of sens sensual attachments. With the practice of yoga, he should realize the working of soul and the presence of God everywhere. This is hard to be perceived by an ignorant or non-yogic person. It is only a sannyasi with no malice towards any living being, renunciation of all sensual pleasures, and performance of righteous deed in conformity to the Vedas, and strict practice of austerities, can attain final beatitude. When a sannyasi becomes free from the desires of worldly objects, and is pure in all external and internal emotions, he obtains uninterrupted true happiness in this life and after death. It is paramount duty of all sannyasis to enlighten the mild minds of Rihadis and others with the truth on all things and actions, to dissuade them from doing any kind of evil, remove all their doubts and misgivings, and to stimulate them towards actions based upon righteousness. Thank you, and next week we will study one uh, on who is entitled to be a sannyasi.